what's up guys this has been a very frustrating evening um, this will be the second time I've recorded this the first time it didn't record uh, let me make sure I'm recording now okay cool I have lost so much footage it's, footage, it's not even funny uh, so we're just gonna be doing this backwards I've already done this but I'll tell you what we did uh, basically we have PlayStation 2 with the power supply built in PlayStation 2 without power supply built in and also this really cool custom stand that I made that I totally showed off and didn't get recorded at all. Uh, I'm not taking it off again because it's going to break if I take it off again. So uh, basically CD spindle glued together with a bunch of dead CDs screwed to the bottom. Yay! Uh, anyway, uh, what happened was uh, I don't have a second power supply. Basically this is going to be going in the bedroom uh, to play DVDs uh, was the idea. What we were initially set out to do was to take the working laser from this PlayStation and put it into this PlayStation since this one has the power supply built in that way I don't have to buy a second power supply or power adapter rather and ended up the one we were putting the new lens into this guy actually has a broken ribbon cable uh, and I will definitely get some close-ups of this because it's so so subtle um, but it's definitely ruined uh, and it will cost me more to order a new ribbon cable than it would to buy another PlayStation. So probably not gonna happen. Um, I might, you never know. All right, so this is that ribbon cable I was talking about. Uh, if you look really closely, right, come on, focus, right there. Uh, you can see that line going across, it's just cut into the ribbon cable. And what looks like it happened uh, was the, either the glue came loose underneath, which I doubt because it's still very sticky, or the um, the little rubber grommets here uh, that keep the drive elevated have worn out over time so that it's at a lower level than when it was built, uh, causing the lens to scrub as it moves back and forth. If you can actually see on the, um, the path where the ribbon cable was there. So it's a little scratch. Right there, a little scratch is where it's rubbing against the metal here and rubs straight across the ribbon cable all the way up through here. And basically it just ate through the cable. Um, so that's the other reason why I'm probably not gonna fix this because if I put a new ribbon cable in there, it's gonna eat through that too, unless I replace all these little grommets to re-elevate the, the disk drive, and again, it's just not worth it. Uh, we pick up about where I find out that this isn't going to work. Um, so that's where you guys are going to be going next. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so we've got the laser that was in here with the ribbon cable from the other one. And let's see what happens now. Let's just kind of hold it up. Throw a Red Dead Revolver back on here. I don't think I've ever actually played Revolver. I played uh, Redemption quite a bit and Undead Nightmare. That was fantastic, but I don't know if I've ever actually played Revolver since we picked it up. Um, I know I know Lady Baca had played it, uh, but not this copy because um, I bought this one since I've known her. I don't remember. These things all run together. Hey, look at that. So it looks like I was right about the ribbon cable, but wrong about the laser. Probably just going to fast forward at this point until the game actually loads. Hey, there we go. God, that took forever. Do all PS2 games take this long to load? I don't remember them taking this long to load. Alright, well. It read the disc, that's enough for me for now. Um, I'm gonna play with this a little bit and see if I can get this ribbon cable down enough to actually use. And see if we can, oh crap, see if we can actually use this thing. I think if I do this, it's gonna have the same problem the last one did, you just kind of run over itself until it dies. But I might be able to tape it there and it'd be okay. Let's power this thing down, 
Come on. This thing has like the stiffest power jack ever. Okay. This is probably still a bad idea. So what happens. Okay, power on. And we'll do this lid open and I'll just hit the switch so you guys can see it. Okay, there's the game loading. There's no data. I see the laser coming up. Reading disk. Hit enter. Okay, whatever, I'm done. Oh, so, what did we learn tonight? We learned how to do this actual switch and how not to do this actual switch. Um, don't steal the cable from your other PlayStation because it's not the same. It's not going to work. And we learned that I should just suck it up and buy a new power adapter for that one because that one works fine with the power adapter, which I couldn't find or else I would show you. Um, I may have plugged it back into the actual TV in the living room, but I don't remember. So... I don't know. But what we are going to do is throw this good laser that we did work and this good cable back in this PlayStation uh, and we will just kind of set this one to the side because I'm probably not going to buy a cable for it. It's just, uh, it's not going to happen. Why am I undoing the wrong screws? So you got to do this guy completely. Take this one off. Pull out the shaft. Undo the cable, untape the cable, and remove the cable. Okay, put this one back in, put the, take off the arm, put the short arm back on it. Okay. Why you don't work? Oh, it's not working because I'm using the wrong screw. Like a genius. Oh, Lord. Question is, do I leave in me being an idiot? Or do I uh, cut that out and look smarter? I'll leave it in. I'm sure somebody will enjoy it. Okay. We're just going to kind of haphazardly throw this back together as quickly as possible. So like I said, I still have to edit this video tonight and I think it's getting late. And if it's getting late, then I'm running out of room on my phone. And I don't want to lose footage again because that was horrible. Even though I had like 12 gigs free before I started this. <sighs> There we are. Okay. So we're gonna take this guy, his fancy lid, and throw in the parts pile of PlayStations to fix later. And yes, there's more than one. Now for this guy, this good ribbon cable. That's the bad ribbon cable. I will um, try to remember to get some footage of that close up so you guys can see it see exactly what I was talking about. I uh, may have been able to see it on the original shot, but uh, again, I don't have a viewfinder yet. I will on my new camera. 
Yay. But currently I do not, so I just had to guess. So if the video quality sucks, it's because I'm guessing. Sometimes my guesses are really good, and sometimes my guesses are really bad. Okay, and this just lays in this little channel here, and is glued in. The adhesive is still nice and snug on it, so that should be good. Uh, you can actually attach these cables before you assemble it, but I don't know how well that works. Let's find out. That actually felt a lot easier than doing it the other way. Just bad because I've done this like 15 times, so I haven't done it that way before. Yay, I learned something today. That's not bad together at all. <laughs> so, um, you definitely couldn't see it on the camera. I started moving the lens back and forth, and uh, it decided it wasn't going to hold this back thing anymore. It just popped off the little copper colored thing I showed you a minute ago which is luckily not magnetic, so it's much easier to put on and keep in place. So let's tighten that up, tighten that up, snug it, snug it. Okay, that's moving properly, that looks good, looks really good. I may go try and find that cable tonight so I can show you this one working, but cross that bridge when we get there. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I'll throw the, this back together off camera. I don't think you guys don't want to see me sitting here tightening screws for the next 15 minutes. Um, but I'm going to cut here and run, see if I can find the power supply. I'll be back. All right, so there. Power this guy on. Okay, and you can see we are up and running here. Let's throw on Red Dead. Revolver. Now, like I said, there's a switch back here and a switch up here for the door on this one. So that sound we just heard is a cable rubbing against this thing. Uh, it has a nice ring around this disc now, so we need to find out what's rubbing and why this is rubbing. Will that rub if we put the top on? Yes. Uh, that's not good. Oh, more technical difficulties. Okay, I can see an adhesive line on the cable and on the base. I'm just not adhering there anymore. So what we're gonna do is just kind of sit this guy here, and we're going to try and get a small piece of tape across that to hold it where it was originally. Because uh, what's happening is the it's allowing the cable to come up more than it normally would. <clears throat> so there's excess cable um, getting pulled up as it's coming forward. And that excess cable is rubbing against the disc. And it's got a nice little ringing effect on it. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, I can show you, like I try to show you. That ring right there, that's from that cable just now. And um, doesn't really come out. So let's hope that that doesn't affect the game at all, or else I'm going to owe my lady a new video game. And I will not hear the end of that for a long time, so wish me luck. Mumble, mumble, mumble. I didn't realize how much I mumbled until I started watching these videos that I was recording. And I mumble a lot, apparently. Sorry. Yeah, see, that's still gonna rub, though. We can go a little further up on it. This might seem like a little thing, but um, it's definitely not. It's very, very important. So I guess second thing we learned today is don't take your ribbon cables off unless you absolutely have to. So I can't actually get that one off. So what we're gonna do is just cut a new piece to go right there. Now let's do this. Let's go underneath, grab it onto the screwdriver. Okay. 
Okay, get it into place and squish it down. So that will allow it to go all the way forward with no pull on the tape. And this should still be able to go. No, it can't go backwards because something's in the way. It's catching there. Why is it catching there? Uh, I probably need to come this way some more too. So let's pull that out. Whew, that's a lot more work than I signed up for tonight. Forward travel, back travel, seems good. Um, yeah, that should be fine. All right, let's, uh, let's try that again. So disc in, back door switch, wait for the menu and front door switch. Cool, no scrubby noise this time. That's good. PS2 logo. Huh. That was a lot faster than last time. Cool, so there we go. We are up and running. So anyway, I guess the moral of the story is, one, don't take your ribbon cables off. Two, just buy a power adapter. It's way easier. But it's gonna wrap it up for now. I'll button this up off camera. Um, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Uh, any questions, comments, leave me a, leave me a note in the comment section. Um, if there's anything else you guys want to see me take apart, uh, give me a shout. I have every game system uh, from the Nintendo to the Wii U 360 Xbox One. Uh, I have everything. So if there's anything you want to see the insides of, let me know. I'll open it up for you. Show you what we've got. I guess uh, I could show you guys later on the one that I've modded. I'll show you what it does. I may not do that because I'm not sure about how legal that is with the region body what have you so we might not do that after all but that's gonna wrap it up uh see you guys in the next one